Hi friends. Um, I'm here at my home, the Talmadge, today and uh, I have news which is that we've moved and uh, a lot of people had always wanted to visit and weren't able to and it's a beautiful historic 1920s Art Deco style apartment building in Koreatown which is just west of downtown LA. So today because we've moved out and it's my last chance here in the apartment I thought I would give a little tour of this historic apartment. It's empty and it's still messy. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning up here still um, and a few other snafus, but um, I wanted to give a tour just for posterity. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around now and we're gonna do this. So this is the elevator up. Every floor shares a hall with only two apartments. So there's only two apartments and um, there's a regular elevator and there's also a service elevator back here and a service entrance so every apartment if you had servants butlers cleaners back in the day they would only come up through the service elevator and if you lived here you would come up through this elevator um, you can see the old-fashioned fire hose gorgeous views we're on the ninth floor and um it's just really nice that there's only two apartments on every floor and there's only one common wall between them. It makes it really private and it really made it feel like a home. So this is our front door. As you walk in, we have our little reception hall, entry hall, and there's a lot of mirrors in this apartment, a lot of mirrors. Um, it's already very light and airy, but it's even more light and airy with that effect. Uh, so this is what we call the music room. It's sort of a secondary entryway reception area. And um, we kept our piano here and it was just sort of a transition area. There's a hall closet here. This is the dining room. One light fixture. I wasn't able to get it down. So I'm hoping the building will take pity on me and get it down for me. At some point we can take it to the new place. And this is the living room, fireplace, more mirrors, beautiful detail on the ceiling. Uh, the baseboards are pretty plain, but up here, this is just great. These were pocket doors at one point at one time. So you could close off the dining room, living room areas, lots of doors, which, you know, nowadays most people don't like that, but I really loved it because uh, you could close things off. It would have been great for me to have the pocket doors working too, but oh well. Um, fireplace, and here is our incredible set of windows, and there's like a little recess here. And here is the view one last time so beautiful that's the UTLA building there and you can see right let's see right there is Griffith Observatory it's kind of hazy today so you can't really see it on a clear day it's beautiful at night it's beautiful and that's the other side of the building so there's um, about 20 apartments on this side, 20 on the other side. Wilshire Boulevard is down here. A lot of protests here because there's a lot of embassies and of course UTLA is here. So it's always a very, very busy place to be. Lots going on. And then over here, another recessed area. And here the view is out to the west. And we have Emmanuel Presbyterian Historic Church that actually replaced a green and green mansion, which they moved to Beverly Hills. You can see the view here is unreal as well. So you can't quite see the ocean, but um, you can see pretty far. Those hills out that way, that's like um, Culver City, Ladera Heights area. And I like this view a lot because you can see the mix of old and new. So there's some buildings that were built five years ago, some from the 20s and 30s, and some from the 90s. Just how Koreatown is, like a mix of everything new, everything old. So going in here, we have the dining room. Um, Brianna, it's two full bedrooms and two small ones, which I think were originally maid's quarters. Great 
Oh, of course, we have radiators, which I loved. The clank, clank, clank. It was so nice. Um, oh, another cool detail. These are call buttons on the floor. So there's one in every bedroom, and there's also these here on the floor. So we think that this is so that if you were eating, you could um, put your foot down and call the butler or the maid to <laughs> bring you more food. And there's a... a a light fixture here, which I guess maybe they had a light on their dining room table. Not too sure, but it is original because it, it's the old style electronic, I mean, um, electricity, you know, plug thingy. Sorry. Okay, so you can see there's a little window in here and a swinging door, and this goes back to the service wing. And we had an incredible pantry here, plenty of space. This is like dining dishes kind of stuff and then this is the kitchen so there's a big old hood there we didn't ha this is our stove it was kind of puny <laughs> but we made it work fridge was here and these are all the original cabinets nice and bright in here it's a mess right now so we think that this was probably the ice box here because on the other side, there's a little compartment and we think that maybe the ice was loaded in from the back and this was like plastered over, but we're not sure. And then in here, there was, we got wine storage. This could have been added later. And then in here, there's sort of a, this, this could have been ice as well. Um, but anyway. Uh, you can see this. So all of these used to be, that's a swinging door. This was probably a door and this was probably a door. It's been removed, but everything was very compartmentalized. And we think back here is where maybe the butler and the maid's rooms were. And this was our boy's room. The both boys share this teeny tiny room. I am having a hard time cleaning these. I don't have enough cleaning supplies here to clean up properly, but this was our boy's room. Two little boys are in here. We had it carpeted. So underneath it's kind of a mess right now. Um, there's a really, there, this is a full bathroom. There is a bathtub in there, so it's a full bathroom. Um, and you can see there's like a window that goes up to like a, a ventilation area for the whole building. And then last but not least, there's one more little bedroom here. And this was first Astrid's room and then it was the baby's room. There is a closet in here, so it technically does count as a bedroom. And this we think is a fake wall. So we think that sometime they knocked the wall down to make it one bedroom and then they put it back up because some units have this as one bedroom and some have it as two. And the, you can even see some seams here. So uh, the fire, fire escape is out here. So we're not allowed to go out there, but of course people do. You can see fireworks from here. It's very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the bedrooms. And this is the service entrance that I was mentioning. So back here you can access probably all our junk. Oh, no, they moved all our stuff. So there's a service elevator here and a trash chute and the electric panels and a little bit more storage here, probably for like cleaning supplies. So back in the day, um, service people would have entered through this door, lock that up. So let's go check out the bedrooms one last time. Again, the music room area. And so again, this, this would have been a door and this would have been a door. So you could completely close off like the bedroom wing. There's some built-in cabinets here. Um, this was my room. Again, still haven't been able to take down the blinds, but we'll see. Um, Nice big room, lots of mirrors. There were closets with built-ins, a nice deep big closet here. And this is obviously built-ins original to the building. Um, shoe racks, I mean, someone could have had quite a nice wardrobe here. And here's the view. Let's go this way. So, well, so this was my view. I wanna do this. This was my view from my pillow. So I would wake up to this view, pretty spectacular. Uh, that's a parking garage and it's got a park on top of it, which I just loved because it could have been a really boring, ugly building, but no, they've got a park and they would have events there and stuff like that. Unfortunately, they are going to be building a boutique hotel someday. and I think it's 30 stories. <laughs> so we were pretty sure that that was going to block this view right here. So the building is going to go up there in between that space. So no more city views or maybe partial city view. But 
loved it while we had it. And then view out this window. That building there, little like local lore, that um, building was on a property that was destroyed by the LA, in the LA riots in the 90s. And it was a property owned by David Rue's family. David Rue is currently a city council member. And he told me that his family owned a toy store there, which was cool because I owned a toy store. And he said after the riots, they sold the property and they ended up building this building, which is now offices. That's the corner of Vermont and 8th. So that's it. Bye-bye bedroom window view. And we have a little bathroom here. Original toilet. There's no tank. I don't know. I find these things fascinating, but yeah. No tanks. So it was just like a school bathroom. Um, we put in this vanity. It's the only new thing in here. <laughs> Everything else is, you know, even the bathroom had a great view out this window. Bye-bye bathroom. And then the fourth bedroom or the second full bedroom is next door. This was Astrid's bedroom. Beautiful light, beautiful floors. We painted this one, but not well. And again, she has beautiful views as well from her bed. A little radiator. This bedroom, so both big bedrooms have their own bathrooms. I have some work to do in here, so don't judge. Um, like that fell off. That's why I'm here making some fixes and lots of closets. This is kind of cool. This closet we think was like a fur closet or something. It's just, it's a little different and deeper. It's like more deep storage. Um, and that's it. So I will go through the house. I'll just take one more walk through to finish it up back here in the hall. This is where we would enter. And then the music room. Just take one more walk around before I get to cleaning up. And taking off. Goodbye view. Goodbye beautiful Los Angeles. We were so lucky to live here. So lucky. And somebody else is gonna love this place so much. I don't think I need to go in these bathrooms. But I'm being, I don't think I need to go to the back bedrooms again. I'm just gonna say goodbye, say goodbye to the house and do some last minute cleaning and then get off home to our new place in the suburbs. Loved you, Talmadge, loved you very much. And sorry we couldn't have more gatherings here at the end because of COVID, that was a big bummer. And someday we'll have everybody over to the new place when all this craziness ends and um, Hi, it's me again. Thanks everybody for watching. We really love this place and we're gonna miss it a lot. The kids especially. Um, this is where they grew up. This is their city kid home. So this video will be here forever for them to look at and remember. Okay, bye, have a great day everyone.